What's going on, Reach? Jesus what? Christ, the thing sounds like a monster. How many Thanks, man. HPs are you putting down? She makes enough. Okay, she may make enough, but I don't want to be that guy. But if you've ever seen Fast and Furious, you kind of got to look the part if your car is fast or if you just want people to think it's fast. I'm talking like skirts, I don't know, a front lip, throw a picnic table bench on the back as a spoiler. What if you? What if I can just let it look stock and let make it be a sleeper? If you want a sleeper, you go get yourself a teardrop camper. But until then, we go to AutoZone and let's deck this puppy out, all right? Hey, and welcome back to the Hangar Hideout. Now, I, welcome back, I guess. Before it was so rudely interrupted, what I was trying to say was, if you think we're going to AutoZone to deck the C7 out, you've been madly mistaken. But before we get to the highlight of the show, there's one thing I do want to go over. And that's if you have a beautiful car like this, it's a sin to keep it this dirty. And don't you worry, the owner will be reprimanded. Why? Why do you think I brought it here? Now let's get back to what we actually brought this car here for, which does not include me washing it. Mike from Ricci Racing was so gracious to bring his C7 Corvette for us to put on some good old body mods. And by that, I mean some side skirts. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you spend any money on anything that's not a go-go part? And for that, I have one thing to say to you. Ah, uh, supercharger, check. Full exhaust, check. Drag radials, Check. All right, well now we know that this car's already fast, so the next obvious step is to make it look the part. Because if your car's sitting and no one's hearing it, we want people to know you're packing HPs. So let's get to work. Should have her done in five minutes. When doing body modifications, you want to do them right. And part of that doing right is making sure, like we said, having the right parts, but also you don't want to do it wrong. When you have a high horsepower car, you get to show off the car. It's kind of the mentality of being a clean look versus dirty. So one of the things that I actually agree on Mike with is we start to modify the body of the car once you have and can prove the horsepower down on the ground. Hey Dills, I gotta stop you right there, bud. Um, we don't need that much preparation. Honestly, I got this thing in about 30 seconds and uh, I gotta tell you, aerodynamics are pretty good. I don't mind the breeze either, but good work guys. See you next week. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the breeze this gives off too. Is he always this stupid? All right, after scrubbing, 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 we got all the adhesive off. Keep your booger away from me. Now for Dr. Dill's tip of the day. Now for Dr. Dill's tip of the day with my assistant, Bob. You gotta make sure that you measure twice, drill once. Thanks, Bob. All right, I know they all say, measure twice, you drill once. That doesn't take into account if both times you measured, you measured wrong. Instead, why don't you change the saying to, don't be an idiot when you drill into a car. Thankfully, Mike knows when working on a car with me, you bring extra parts. So why don't we finish her up?
All right, that's all she wrote and it wasn't too bad of a job. I think she looks great and now when this car's not running, I can actually tell she's packing some HPs. I wanted to thank you guys for coming out to the hangar with us. Don't forget if you like what you saw, like and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for hiding out with us.